And before we go, I need to get my playlist going. Kind of been on this Tom Rosanthal playlist lately. Just really loving it. And the song that I really like is called If We All Die Tomorrow. Yes. Love it. Okay, here we go. Let's turn on the One Wheel app. Making sure a 70% battery should be good. All right, let's party. Let's bring back that bit. Okay. Wallets in here. Sure, okay. Let's go. Oh. Okay. So now I'm on a one wheel and I'm testing out this new laugh mic and I'm put actually right in front of the my helmet. So I'm actually wearing a full face helmet today. Uh, I don't know. This feels safer, right? When you're kind of riding on these type of roads. Well, right now I'm on a sidewalk, but sometimes you really don't know, man. Like I have zero trust in the drivers here in this city. So the main thing I think is to is to really ride uh, defensively, right? And that kind of came from my motorcycle days when I used to ride motorcycles, and but now with kids. I do something a little bit less dangerous. Although occasionally I still hit the track. But more like go-kart tracks than than like the real thing, right? So Alright, let's cross the road. So these things are new. I see them as extremely, absolutely, utterly pointless. Look at this fucker. Fuck you. See? Fremont drivers. Zero trust. These people can't drive for shit here. Although, yeah, there are some like nice people too, and like really good drivers too. But I think, I think overall, just be uh, on the defensive side when you're riding, right? Like just zero trust. Zero trust is the key here. And especially when it's right now, it's almost time for um, you know for people to get off work. Ooh, it's a little rainy, and so everyone's trying to rush home, and so it's a little sketch. I'm not even gonna bother trying to go too fast. Just safety first. Really, not trying to eat shit here. Just trying to keep my collarbone intact. Thank you very much. My last ride was, okay, this fucker is just waiting. What the fuck, go, go. You know, sometimes you just gotta be a little bit more positive on the road. If people like let you go somewhere, be nice, wave, be cool. Don't be a douche. Look at this fucker. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's like it's a little dangerous here, right? It's just like people don't walk, don't really look at you, they don't watch you, they just kind of go and just do whatever they want. This is sketch. I've always wanted to come here, and I always feel like sometimes if you're not on on like a one wheel or, or or like walking or skateboarding you will never be able to see things up close because i'll always be i lived here for like four years now I've drove by here every day and i've always gone way past and this is like the memorial or like a sanctuary location for the native americans the ohlone tribe and if you think back it's like it's kind of sad because we you know the the Spanish came here and pretty much like decimated everybody and now all they have is like this patch of memorial it's a little sad man you know think about it but things change and times change but I think it's important for us to remember and make sure we understand and remember history as well
Yeah, it seems like the rain is starting to come down a little bit. But it's been holding up for me so far, so wish me luck. All right, here, let's hit this bish. Oh, look at this dude. Zero fucks given for me. Yep, good job, fucker. All right, so decided to go to the opposite side because it's the safest, I think. Because there is actually no sidewalk there, so I think I'm doing the right thing. Eh, well, whatever. And I was gonna say, oh, no one really walks around here. It's like no one on the sidewalk, and then I see a dude just like running now. So, just gonna have to share the road. I'm gonna go over to 680 overpass right now, uh, right in front of us. Whoop, dodging it. And that part to me is a little scary. Because the way the one wheel rides is so high up, if I fuck up, like, I die, you know? I, I fly off the, uh, I fly off the cliff and I die. Just like that. Kind of simple and sketch. Simply sketch is the word. You know, sometimes just make sure you're seen, people see you. Oh yeah, how's the mic quality by the way? I have no idea. It's kind of my first time using this laugh mic. So right now I have the GoPro Hero 9 with a max mod uh, on it. And then I actually have a, with the medium mod on there as well. Woo! This shit's scary. But it's also really cool. Oh yeah, so back to my point. I'm using the, I have the max mod, the max lens mod on there right now. And also I have the media mod on here as well. Uh, that's how I am able to actually, oof. That's how I'm able to plug in the, uh, the, the laugh mic uh, into here. It's like a cheap five, six dollar laugh mic. It's like, I don't know, well, I forgot the brand. It just has like YouTube on it or something. Uh, I didn't want to use like that my more expensive like laugh mics that I normally use for weddings. I just don't want to trash him. I still sell like 30, 40 dollar laugh mics and the cables are super flimsy. So anyway, I'm riding really slow right now. Oh, those are new housing developments over there. I don't know. This city, if you can... I'm not a huge fan of Fremont, to be honest with you. It's like, it's a pretty big city, but it's like a really old city with terrible infrastructure, bad planning, and all they do is just keep building new houses more and more and more and more, and not enough schools. You know, basically developers come in and they just like destroy the place, um, and it's just no longer the same. You know, as what it used to, it's just too many people. It's a great commuter town, Tesla's here. And it's like right smack in the middle, right? And so that's where like Bay Area people just kind of come and go in. And then that's where like, okay, it's the center of the area where people can easily commute to San Francisco, Oakland, whatever to do to work. And so that's why this became like a super popular location and housing prices just like popped up. Like something like this, for example, would be like one point something mil, right? I mean, given is actually a pretty big lot. But yeah, anyway, um, this is the city that I live in called Fremont. I don't like it. It's old, it's aging, infrastructure sucks, it's terrible planning. But this is what I have. I don't live in a city like all the cool hipster people. I have two kids and I raise my kids in a boring ass city. Yeah. In fact, I would more like, let's just call it a suburb, really. I live in a suburb. It's not even a, it's not even city. Anyway, we're almost there to Firestone. And today I got my Honda Element to Firestone to go get a an alignment and if you guys know Firestone they actually have what we called a lifetime alignment 
service and I actually really like that so I forgot when I got it but my Honda Element is like 07 so what it was like 14 years old or something I don't know but regardless uh, I think I bought it when I first got the vehicle because I know I'm like ah, I'll keep this vehicle this car forever and so I just got it and ever since then I have not paid for uh, a single alignment service since then for that car so yeah if you guys are thinking about it i think firestone's like lifetime alignment is great so we'll see we'll see how, how well the job they do or like how off i am but i literally dropped off the car about an hour ago and i as soon as i one wheel home and it came back and sat down in front of my computer got a call and they're like yo it's done i was like oh shit, okay cool awesome i guess i'll hop right back on the one wheel and come right back so it was kind of nice so this is actually a part two of my one wheel vlog okay so in front of me there is actually what we call hopping beans it's actually one of my favorite coffee shop in fremont a little bit older uh changed hands a couple of times already uh but i do really like their almond coffee it's great By the way, Fremont is also, I think I read somewhere, uh, known to be the happiest city in America. Yeah, they obviously didn't ask me about that. So I'm not part of that survey, but I disagree. But I'm still here. I'm here because our family's here and probably eventually move away to a place that makes me happy and I think sometimes that's what it is you have to do things that make you happy and whatever that may be I hope you do find it and I'm trying to find that myself is how can I find happiness is you know making a lot of money making gonna make me happy or raising my kids in a place that that they actually have freedom to run around and and actually enjoy where they live more important so and i think that 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 is different for everybody and everybody is trying to find that same thing yeah the dance teacher just looked at me like what the fuck <laughs> well here we are firestone <laughs> my car is ready i hope The Honda Element. Thing like hella crazy. Um, the Honda? Yeah, looks okay, right? Well, I mean, it looks like you were pretty much out all on your front, uh, on your rear, you were off on one side, and unfortunately, these cast casters and camber are just, there's no uh, typical way for us to adjust them because the manufacturer doesn't get it. Sweet deal, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Paperwork. There it is, baby. Whoop, whoop. Beautiful. Hi, everybody. Hope you're watching this. Okay, this is my Honda Element, 2007 Honda Element. It is my baby. Done. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.